Sounds like Cat, Kit, Carly, Cece, and Clyde. <coughs> What's going on? We heard the weirdest and scariest sound. It was scary and weird. Cat, hold my claw. Well, I don't hear anything now. How about you all get some sleep and we'll sort it out in the morning. Good night. scary and weird. We ran all the way to your house to get away from it. What was it? Don't know what it was or where it came from. Ooh, a mystery. <laughs> Detective Wombat will solve the mystery of the weird and scary sound. Wombat's roll. <laughs> Let's start by writing down everything we know so far. You heard a weird and scary sound. Hmm, that's a yes. Oh, uh, where were you when you heard the sound? In our bedroom. Was it coming from inside or outside? Outside. Can you make the sound so Zadie can record it? <gasps> Sounds like a tap dancing dragon with a nose like a kazoo. Really? A dragon? It can't be a dragon. We don't even know what a tap dancing kazoo knows dragon sounds like. Maybe it sounds like... I mean, it's possible. Well, we can't just guess. We have to go to your house to find what caused the sound that scared you last night. Want to come with us? No thanks. We're good. Really, no thanks. Tell your parents we're heading to your house, okay? <laughs> Time to solve the mystery of the weird and scary sound. What's that for? To catch the dragon! <sighs> Detective Wombats are going to our house to investigate what caused the sound. I hope they find... The cause of that weird and scary sound. They will. And you're welcome to stay here until they do. Are we interrupting your day or... Keeping you from anything? Not at all. I've got a light schedule, not much on my to-do list today. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. That's super, super. Are they making themselves at home by leaving? Uh, 
price check on garbanzo beans. <laughs> Didn't get much sleep last night. No excuses, Mr. E. Get back to work. The crab kids heard the weird and scary sound in their bedroom. So that's where we'll look first. Good thinking, Malik. Hear that? You push a button and it rings a bell. Yeah, that's a doorbell. I'll play the weird and scary sound. <laughs> not the same sound. The doorbell did not cause the weird and scary sound. This way! Hear that? I don't hear anything. There it is again. When we stop walking, I don't hear it anymore. It's the sound of our footsteps, Zeke. Aw, I was hoping it was that dragon. Me too. There is no dragon. <laughs> I was really looking forward to vacuuming the carpet, but sizzle flip, let's run it up. I've never sculpted with sand before, but. <laughs> wow! Wow! Nice! Not bad for my first try. Make the toy dinosaur go, and we'll listen to see if it caused the weird and scary sound. Nope, not the same as the weird and scary sound. It was you, wasn't it, Balloon? Not the same sound. There's gotta be something in here that caused that weird and scary sound. Gather up anything that makes a sound. One of you is responsible for scaring the crabs out of their home. Too squeaky. Too squishy. Not even close. Something. Sadie, play back all the sounds. Good thinking, Malik. <laughs> and now I'll play the weird and scary sound. Nope. Huh, we didn't find the sound. Let's go home. Didn't get much sleep last night. Did you find what caused the weird and scary sound? No. I'm sure you'll work it out, Wombats. Like how I beached it up in here? Whoa. Got everything at the Everything Emporium. Mr. E, poor guy. Said he didn't get much sleep last night. <gasps> Carly, Cece, and Clyde didn't get much sleep last night. And same for Mr. E. Maybe he got woken up by the weird and scary sound, too. And maybe he knows what caused it. Or he has a dragon. There's no... <sighs> Never mind. Uh, yeah. Clean up on aisle two? Uh, we've got some questions for you, Mr. E. Why didn't you get much sleep last night? <sighs> I had to work late. There was a night delivery. How come stuff gets delivered at night? Mm. 
so I can put it on the shelves before I open the store in the morning. Who made the delivery? Was it a dragon? What got delivered? I'll show you. It's a free sample of a new toy. I told you there was a dragon. Is that what I think it is? I think so. <laughs> we found what caused the sound that scared the crabs out of their home. Last night I wound it up just to see what it does and started making such a noisy sound that I had to chase it, chase it down. I chased it all the way to the sandcastle. Oh. Put it back in the box and... We worked it out, Wombats. During our investigation, we found a lot of sounds that weren't the weird and scary sound. And one that was. It's a dragon! <laughs> yes! A dragon caused the weird and scary sound. And we're going to show it to you. Wow. See, I just have to wind it up and then... That's it. It is it. It's weird, but not scary. How oh come it's not scary anymore? Because it surprised you. And you didn't know what was causing the sound. It's not scary now. Because we know what it is. I don't think anyone in the treeberhood needs my help today. So I'll be down by Lake Belly Flop if you need me. Ready for liftoff, Zeke? Ready! <gasps> right now! It's Gabriela. Is Super around? I could use a little help. <laughs> Super isn't here. What should we do? We can help. Yeah, let's do it. We're on our way. I have all the 
first mail to deliver, but I don't know how I'm going to deliver it. What happened? Did someone forget the stamps? Hello. Are there big words on the envelope that you can't read? That happens to me, because I can't read yet. Oh, no. I can't find my glasses, so I can't read who I'm supposed to deliver the mail to. Oy, I've looked everywhere for them. Why the funny looks? Because, Gabriella, they are right here on top of your head. My glasses! You found them! Oh, salamat! Thank you! You three are really good helpers. Now I can deliver the mail! <laughs> New helping could make me so happy! Let's do it again! Yeah, we could be the hopping helpers and help anyone who needs, well, help. What do we do next? We could build a great big building with our names on the door. Uh, oh, I know. We can just use our old lemonade stand. That could work, too. Ta-da! Our very own hopping helper's desk. Now we can help the whole Tremorhood. If you have problems, big or small, we can help. Just give us a call. How will we know who needs help? Attention, Treberhood! This is Molly, Zadie, Zeke, and Snout, the Hopping Helpers! If you have problems, big or small, we can help. Just give us a call. Think anyone's gonna call? <laughs> that was quick. Hopping, Hopping Helpers, how may we help you? Hi, Hopping Helpers! We heard your message. We need you in the Sow and Grow Garden. We're hopping to it. Oh, thanks for coming. You hopped here quickly. If you have problems, big or small, we can help. Just give us a call. Well, at least we're starting on a high note. Yes, <laughs> very high indeed. Now, tell us your problem. Well, we need to get to dance class. But before we go, we have to plant all these tomato seeds! Yes! All these tomato seeds in this long row of dirt! That is a lot of dirt. And a lot of seeds. But guess what? To us, it's... No, no problem! problem. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! That doesn't look right! No! No, 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 not at all. Oh, all right, that's it. Now, we know you're trying to help, but... But your help is making a big old mess. Uh-oh. This job might be too big for us. The hopping helpers need help. Uh, well, you just need to make this big planting job smaller by breaking it down. Yes! Break the big job into three small jobs, like this. Job one, make a hole. Job two, put in the seeds. Job three, cover the hole with dirt. Hey, there are three jobs and three of us. Yeah, we can each take a job. I'll take the first job. See, I'm making the holes with my pogo stick. And I'll follow behind you and plant the seeds. And me and Snout will cover the holes. You've made us very happy, Hoppin' Helpers! Now we can go to our class. Tap dancing! Shuffle ball change. We're kind of made for it. Bye-bye. That was fun. I like the helping. I like the hopping. I like the helping and the hopping. Super, I have a big problem. Where's Super? She's not here, but... If you have problems, big or small, we can help. Just give us a call. <gasps> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Huh. Okay.
Okay, I have a big ooey gooey goo problem. Uh, what now? Ooey gooey goo is my homemade goo. There's nothing this goo can't do. Need glue? Use the goo. Need to clean? Rub it down. Wanna play? Roll it round! It can bounce, it can stick. Yes, it's ooey gooey true. There is nothing my ooey gooey goo can't do. We want some. Well, I'm sure you do. Everybody does. It's flying off the shelves, which is why I'm making a new batch. But I can't work at the store and jar it up at the same time. I'm only one iguana. We're happy to help. Okay, fine. I'll be right back. You'll need to fill each jar with goo, label it, and put a ribbon on it. Shouldn't be too hard. No problem. We'll have it ready for you by tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll need it much sooner. How much sooner? I'll need them when the sand runs out. Then the buzzer will buzz, and I'll be back. Ta-ta! That's a lot of goo. Well, we better get to work. When jar is done, you know how we always say, no problem? I think we have a big problem. Look. Oh, no. We're running out of time. Remember planting the seeds? We forgot to break this big job down into smaller jobs. Okay, let's break it down. Job one, scoop the goo in the jar. Job two, clean the goo off the jar. Job three, stick the label on. But we still have job four, put the lid on. And job five, tie the ribbon on. And job six, put the jar in the box. But that's six jobs, and there's only three of us. Huh? Snout says that maybe the hopping helpers need help. But Snout can't help, because he's on a break. You know what? Snout's a genius. I think I know just the help we need. May we please have your attention? The Hopping Helpers need your help. We helped you, and now we need your help. Please report to Super's office. <laughs> Hopping Helpers? Need our help? Flap toe, flap heel toe, shovel step hop. I'm coming, Hopping Helpers. Me too. Great. We have six jobs to do. And now we have six people to help. Job one. I scoop the goo in the jar. Job two. I clean the goo off the jar. Job three. I stick the label on. Job four. Cat puts the lid on the jar. Job five. Gabriella ties the ribbon on the jar. And job six. Kit puts the jar in the box. No problem! Job one. Job two. Job three. Job four. Job five. And job six. Please tell me you scooped all the goo into the jars. Customers are waiting. We did but only because we broke the big job into smaller jobs and got help from our friends. Thank you, Hopping Helpers. <laughs> hmm. Aw, oh, crumbs. How am I gonna fix this? Don't worry, it's no problem. Ooey Gooey Goo is a homemade goo. There's simply nothing this goo can't do. Thanks for the help, everybody. If you have problems, big or small, we can help. Just give us a call. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs>
Work It Out Wombats is made possible in part by a ready-to-learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, by these generous supporters, and by viewers like you. Thank you. Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime video channel.